Oh, your base Chris. Hello, oh, your base Chris here with another one of those Mr. videos. This time, in my ongoing attempt to BBS everything in the world, we have moved over to the Amiga. This video was a suggestion by one of the uh, viewers, a gentleman called Jonathan Wicket, who said, Great Commodore 64 video, I'm paraphrasing, he might not have said great. Commodore 64 video, have you considered doing a video about NCOM on the Amiga connecting to BBSs? And uh, well, I thought, what a jolly good idea. So I had a bit of a fiddle around and I do believe I might have got it working. So without further ado, I've installed NCOM. I got it from AmiNet and I also got the key file from AmiNet as well. So do a good search for NCOM 2Ms 306 and uh, the magic phrase is NCOM first and then do an NCOM search uh, and then do NCOM key and it should give you everything you need. Drop the key file into the directory that you install NCOM from. They come down as LHA files. You should know how to extract them. Any good MIGI head knows what to do with LHA files. So let's load up NCOM. Now we've got OK flashing up. That's good. It shows that the modem has initialized properly. So F12 into your Mr. Menu. Go over to UART mode. Now this won't be set as UART mode on the Amiga generally. It will be set as PPP. <laughs> but uh, this time you want to select modem and just for fun we're going to leave the board at 2400 and I'm going to reset it just to make sure. Now here's uh, here we are. One more thing to do while we're in the menu. Right click and go to the top of the screen and we want to change the character set because we want some nice graphics. So let's change that to, I don't know, IBM. Right. AT. Okay. Modem is ready. So for today's trick, I'm going to attempt to contact Black Flag BBS because they've got some lovely ASCII artwork. And uh, what would be good is if I learned how to type. There we go, Black Flag. Dot acid. Dot org. Now, obviously, this is a live demonstration, so it could go horribly wrong. something going on. And it looks like we are in. Look at those graphics kids. Ooh. Tell me you're not in awe. I be a pirate. You can probably up the board rate if you want a faster connection, although I don't know how much faster it would be. But I'm just leaving it at the stock because uh, it worked for me and hopefully it will work for you as well. Love it. Press escape twice with it. Um, well, I pressed escape. It didn't do very much at all. But, uh, okay. So, for my next trick, <laughs> let's try another BBS. It just happens I've got a little notepad open on my desktop with, a, with an address I'd like to try now. 80. Ooh, 80. Okay. <laughs> ATDT. Frontier BBS dot net eight eight eight. This is a Amiga based one. Ooh, more graphical goodness. I was a bit cheeky and I tried something out first hand and I believe this should allow me to log in.
Um, I wonder if we've got the wrong character display up here. Let's change it. How about ISO? No. IBM seems to be good. Smash your keyboard. <laughs> hmm. As you can see, I've logged in repeatedly. So I'd um, I'd have a bit of a tweak. And let's see what's going on here. I love the ASCII graphics. It's just so charming on a BBS. It's been so long since I've done any of this. I've completely forgotten about it. Oh, and it's giving you my IP address. Excellent. No uh, scanning my naughty ports, thank you. I think uh, you might find that blurred out in the actual video. Isn't this wonderful, eh? And what would you normally do in a BBS? You would go straight to the file menu, wouldn't you? Browse by area. At this point, I'm not really filming a video, I'm just playing with stuff. Let's go into Amiga files and see what we've got. Oh, nothing. Meeting my criteria. I'm probably not allowed to say anything yet because I'm just a brand new user. Hmm. Right. So, yes, I'm going to call it a day on this one momentarily once I've stopped playing. So I think um, as you can see BBS on Amiga very possible. If you want to do normal internet on an Amiga you can do that. I wouldn't bother. It's um, nothing really works and it's unbearably slow. But I mean for novelty value the trick is to install a um, IP st TC IP stack, TCP IP stack rather such as Miami DX um, but then you have to install MUEI and Honestly, uh, if there's enough interest, I might have a go at it for you, but um, it's a nightmare and it's so much easier to download a pre-configured pack, pack and just do it that way, if I'm honest. But uh, yes, from me, all your base, Chris, thanks again. Two subscribers away from 500 when I, when I did this video and uh, fingers crossed, we'll hit that magical number. I'm sure there'll be some kind of magical extravaganza planned when I hit 500. Maybe YouTube will come round and drop off a Fabergé egg at my door or hopefully a bunch of bananas or something. In the meantime though, thanks again, be good, don't do anything I wouldn't do, toodle pip, sayonara, auf Wiedersehen, and goodbye.